Alright, so in this problem we are given a graph and we want to find which of the following choices represents the same relationship as the graph we are given. So let's take a look at our graph, um, I mean at our table, and see the relationship between x and y. Now to get from 0 to to get from 0 to negative 3, it seems like we are subtracting by 3. And let's see if this pattern continues. If we subtract 2, we if we do 2 minus 3, we get negative 1. If we subtract 3, we get the right answer. If we s keep subtracting 3, this seems to be the correct pattern. Therefore, we can state that y equals x minus 3. Alright, so now that we have a linear function, let's read our um, options. A says y is equivalent to the difference between the value of x and a constant c, where c equals negative 3. Now, let's write this out verbally right over here. We have y is equivalent to the difference between the value of x, and the difference means minus. So we are going to subtract from the constant that we are given, which is negative 3. Now remember that a negative and a negative make a positive. So if we simplify this, we get y equals x plus 3, which is quite different than our function that is given. Therefore, a is incorrect. Now let's take a look at b. We have another table given with the values of x and y, and so let's let's see if our pattern continues here. If it does, then this will be the correct answer. If we do x, the value of x, which is 10, minus 3, we should get a 7, but here we are getting a negative 13. And as you can tell, this pattern does not continue, and therefore b is also eliminated. Now let's take a look at c. In C, we have a linear function, and if we take two points of this line and plug it into our formula, if, the, if we get the right answer, then this will be correct. So let's pick two points. Our first point can be 3, comma 0, and our second point can be 0, negative 3. So now let's plug it into our formula. We have y, which is 0, equals x, and instead of x, we're going to be writing 3, minus 3. So that gives us 0 minus 0, which is correct. 0 equals 0, which is correct. Now let's check our second point. We have negative 3 equals x, which is 0, minus 3. And that also gives us negative 3 equals negative 3. Therefore, c will be the right answer. And let's see quickly why d is incorrect. Now, we know that we have a linear function. And d is not linear. We are expecting to see a straight line. And because we have curved edges and not a linear pattern, Therefore, D is also eliminated, and C will be our final answer.